Oh, sorry. Your turn. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the history books might have a few corrections on that one. <laughs> Did you just have that sign ready to go? <laughs> Save your comments until the end, Sonny. Yes, we did, Sonny. We were quite the heroic team, but the truth is, when Twilight first took over as ruler of Equestria, there was uh -oh. much for us to do. Twilight made sure every pony in Equestria felt respected and cared for, and we all lived in what's the opposite of chaos? Oh, uh, yes. Harmony. Harmony. <laughs> During those quiet years, Fluttershy and I created an animal sanctuary and took a few protégés under our wings. We taught them to care for all of the creatures of Everfree Forest. It was pure and utter bliss. Until a wicked pony came along. One who caused pandemonium with her false <laughs> ideas of a perfect equestrian. Those who listened to her started believing some races of pony were better than others, simply because of the magical abilities they possessed. Millennia Trump was a pony? Okay, so next time. Oh, oh. oh sorry, what? Oh, was my mic on? I'm my apologies. All right, ah, uh, right. So sorry, but you need to wait your turn like every pony else. <clears throat> Unicorns have better things to do than wait in line. It's okay. But it was far from okay. <laughs> One instance led to another, and soon pony kind found themselves divided. Yeah. I don't know about this. Yeah. Donuts. I would like it known that neither Tom nor I worked on this issue. <laughs> 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 But we can't be hired. It's a parable. <laughs> it's a metaphor. Sorry, young fella, but we only allow Earth ponies inside. Watch where you're flying! Get pretty shy or absolute hazards! <laughs> our Philly protege stopped attending our sessions. My parents say there's nothing for me to learn from a lowly Pegasus who can't even levitate an apple, oh. let alone find the right pony to date. <laughs> 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 it was all very upsetting, but I knew I had to hold it together for Flutter Thigh. <laughs> she really didn't need a discord. Her parents were just scared, that's all. Then truly terrible things happened, much of which is far too frightful to describe. Things in Equestria became even more divided. Yes, but finally, after many moons of unrest, the magnificent seven were able to set things right. To make sure magic never again pitted unicorns, pegasi, and earth ponies against one another, Twilight gathered all the world's magic and placed it in three crystals. As long as these three crystals were protected and all pony kind lived in harmony, magic would be kept alive and well in a crestria. Applause. <laughs> <laughs> I created the crystals. Discord, do you need to help us get that missing crystal back so we can get magic alive and protect their legacy? <laughs> this is all sounding familiar. But anyway, okay, I'm going to continue. Uh, uh, my dear Sonny, that's not uh, what I wanted you to take from my story. I told it to you so you might question if a society without magic might actually be a more peaceful one. Wait. <laughs> you stole the Pegasus crystal. When you re when you reunited the crystals and magic was restored, I panicked. I didn't want pony kind to turn against one another again. And so I just took it. More like stole it! Don't anger him. And what exactly are you planning on doing with the crystal now? Huh? I'm not sure. That's why right, you're all here. It's too big a decision for me and I that I can't think straight. <laughs> Lord wants for it's too big a decision for one lord of chaos to make all on his own! Can't you make ponies unique and sparkle to what creates unity? And we need to embrace each other's pony mess, not strip it away from them. Agreed. Same here. You got it, Sonny. 
And what about you? You've been quiet. And I'd very much like to hear what you think of all this. Well, I have to agree with Sunny, you know. I've been calling this a bit of keep the magic. Especially on the day of my daughter's wedding. <laughs> So Sonny, Zip, and Pip could use their magic to fly above the trees, and Hitch could use his magic with the critter fo forest critters. Critter forest. <laughs> <laughs> you don't seem so sure about it, though. If I can't help but wonder if it has something to do with your arrival in Canterlot, I noticed that you came in on your own. And you got left behind. It wasn't exactly like that. I see so much of Fluttershy in you, Izzy. And Celestia. During those years, she also made excuses for others, but I could see how much it really hurt her, just like I can see now, and now see how much it hurts you, Andy. It's hard to feel left behind simply because of the magic you don't possess. It's not easy to <laughs> But I am going to fix it for you, Izzy. To truly be rid of the division, magic creatures, and now seems there's only no more mutants! I can't, I can't, I can't. I must destroy the crystal and get rid of magic for once and for all. That's not going to happen on our watch. Come on, ponies. Let's make sure this number's a real showstopper. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, uh, no! <laughs> Oh, you love Cantalot history, Sonny. Uh, let me teach you about chaos magic. Oh, no, this is my jacket. What? Oh, oh, oh. Sonny! <laughs> you better go Discord! Uh-oh. I'm sticky. Why does this keep happening to me? <laughs> Ooh, enough of this. <laughs> Even if you wanted to destroy the crystal, you know, Twilight's magic is too powerful. I've felt it before. There's no way to break a protective spell. Look at this one's like tied up in the back. I'm tied up. Look at this. Everyone's just tied up. <laughs> no way that we know of yet, but Twilight taught me the power of a little research. I'm sure I'll figure something out. Oh, still. The theater can be an emotional experience for every pony, but you've been a wonderful, if not rowdy, audience. I hope. We reunite for another tea party during more peaceful times. Snap! <laughs> gonna figure out how to destroy the crystal if we don't stop it in time. We'll lose magic. So we're all gonna do that last one together on the count of three. One, two, three. Stringing on the Issue number three of the comic just came out this past week, right? Very soon? Okay. Okay. Issue three is out and ready. So this is our promo to help sell more IDW comics. If you want to hear the end of this and read it for yourself, go buy the comic. Keep these people employed and get more work. Because they do amazing work. So I'm going to hand out some comments for you guys. If we could get everybody to just... Cast down and sign, sign, sign all these do comics want, here. Do you want one of each signed by everybody? Yeah. 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 Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to have them sign these up and we're going to have them available in the charity auction tomorrow. So come back and get a copy of them. They don't need to be we, we have another 45 minutes here. So okay, we've got uh, Q&A coming up. Give me the mic. So Try to get some more. Here we go. So we're going to get this mic down in here and uh, start lining up for questions. Yeah. <clears throat> Do you want to, are you going to manage? You're going to, Nicole is going to manage the questions. So don't be rude or I'm going to smack you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was my outside yeah. voice again. So, you know, I just thought maybe it might be kind of fun. They don't know I'm going to do this. They're going to hate me. But I'm wondering, just real quick, short answers. Tell us one thing about yourself that maybe they don't know. Lemon. Book nerd. Okay, Peter. Oh, um... I'm chubby. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca. 
rap encyclopedia, any line, I'll do it for it. Jenna. I have type 1 diabetes. Okay, Vincent. I have a twin sister. And uh, a Kelly. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. How did I? Tom. I was on an episode of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. A a Andy. Yeah. Uh, I have six cats. Awesome. What? Lemon, favorite food? Sushi. Peter. Yummy. Uh, mm, you can have okay. Pizza. Pasta. Peter. Thai pizza. food. Ta okay. Tacos. Yeah. Wine. Yeah. How have I not met you before this day? I'm not sure. Andy. Bourbon. 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 What do you think the hardest thing is about being a, in this business? Rejection. Rejection. The in between time. Yeah, in between times. Working with these people. <laughs> yeah, like that. The times that you're not working. Talk. Staying in the business. Andy's nodding in agreement. Okay. And one piece of advice you wish you would have heard or you could give to your younger self. For me, it would be eat the bread. Andrea. <laughs> Care less. Okay. You can do it. You belong. Okay. A pass. Can you come back to me? Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> you're worthy, you're enough, and don't let anyone else's opinions differ what you know that you're supposed to do. Vote for Jenna. Okay. You and are beautiful every single way. Right? Yeah. Kelly? Uh, that time you thought it'd be fun to wrestle with a bunch of your friends who are on a rugby team at like 2 in the morning after you've been drinking tequila all night, and then mm -hmm. you hurt your back and your back was hurt for like 10 years. Uh, maybe don't do that. <laughs> Very good. Uh, stop waiting and D. Charles Gorin created Bridge. Very good. <laughs> Wipe your feet before you go in the house. Okay. And Nicole? Yes. We have a special guest joining us remotely. We want to patch her in for this. Oh, sure. So if, if people haven't already seen the, the tweets, um, Anna Sani came down with a positive COVID test this morning. So she couldn't join us for here on the oh. site, but she's going to be joining us here remotely. Yeah. And we'll patch her in here, and she can participate in the Q and A. And then later on, the autographs we'll have her virtually signing and take a photo. Hey Anna, hey Anna, we were just talking about what one piece of advice you would give your younger oh. self. I know we're already younger, but anyway, like what piece of advice could you give yourself? What would I give myself younger? I'd say follow your gut. Nice. Yeah. Well, right. Okay. Yeah. Um, when you take ballet class as a kid, and then you go on to do it pretty extensively, you don't have to do it five times a week as an adult to get the benefit of it. Keep going to ballet class, even if it's once a week. Right. <laughs> so, what, once a week? Oh, you did five times a week, though. You did you three. Were like, you did three to four. Wow. Mareko is an incredible dance. All these people on the stage are multi-talented. I don't know what I'm doing here, so I'm gonna get off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting off the stage because who wants to ask a question? Come on down. 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 <laughs> you should be. Alright. Okay, um, hi, what's, what's your question? Uh, my question's for uh, Amy. Um, what is the name of her cats? <laughs> what's the name of my cats? Yes. Alright, going down in age. Uh, Bella Lugosi, Mina Harker, uh, Gomez and Morticia Adams, <laughs> Lily Munster, and Juno. Oh, almost to the end, it was like a theme. Hey, y'all, uh, thank you. Please tell me your name, and you can ask what, because I want everybody to have a chance to have a, a question. So, who are you? My name is Fox. Yeah, Fox, Hi, thank Fox. you. My cats, thank you. Hi, how are you? Um, I'm pretty good. I'm hoping to get more comic books, but the problem is, I worry I might run out of space, so. What should I do? You should get a bigger space. <laughs> <laughs> or you can get them digitally. Yeah. Or get them from the library. Or buy a better house. <laughs> go for the, maybe go for digital. Yeah. Nice to see you. Go for the bigger house. Everybody needs more comics. <laughs> Come on up, I don't bite. I'm wearing an N95. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for, for, for having me. What is your name? My name is Keith. What is your question? My question is for all of you. I wanted to ask, um, what 
do you like doing in your spare time that motivates you and keeps you your mind at peace? Fantastic. Okay, going down the road. One word answers are okay, otherwise we're here all year. What do you like to do that's going to motivate you? Reading. Gary? Uh, reading, uh, writing, playing guitar. Listening to music. John. Going to the gym. Vincent? I listen to uh, Oprah's Soul Sessions with Deepak Chopra. Of course you do. <laughs> <laughs> I, I play D&D. Great. All, all gal d and Yes! Uh! Spending time with my god kids. And besides cats, Andy, anything else? Or are you a lonely man like that? Perfect. Okay. <laughs> and Anna! Where's Anna? Video hey. games! Video games! Yeah. Thank you very much for your question. Okay. Sit on down. Come on up. What's your name? Uh, Gabby. What's your question? Um, question to all the voice actors. What's the edgiest thing your characters would say in the context of the show? Okay, the edgiest thing, for those who play many characters, pick one within the context of the show. Short is better. Hey, Anna, why don't you start this? Yeah, we're going to throw it to the Oh, whoa. Yeah, throwing it uh, to you. Uh, wait, can you repeat it one more time? What's the edgiest thing you think your character would say in the context of the show? Edgiest yeah. thing? Yeah. There are some children here, so be yeah. mindful. Yes, yes. Yeah. Don't um, swear like I usually do. <laughs> Set a better uh, example starting now. I think Izzy would be like, the edgiest thing would be like, I hate that! Because she doesn't hate anything. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Uh, Lemon. Oh, um, darn it. Darn it? Okay, I am imagining a scenario near to the beginning of an episode where right. Big Mac might say something like, you are not my sister. Oh. Yeah. Wow, that's scandalous. That's edgy, right? Yeah, yeah that's, that's a scandal. You have to resolve that, though, by the end of 22. You have to. <laughs> so edgy, I cut my leg. Rekha? Beep! <laughs> I get it. Did you see what she did there? Yeah, yeah. Me too. That was yeah. so funny. Jenna? So not sunny. So not sunny. Okay. I think Flash Sentry would say, we gotta keep bumping into each other like this. <laughs> Kalishan. I think screaming quiet at the lead character on the show is probably like pretty edgy, and that happened in the first episode I was in, so yep. not much topping that. I think, uh, uh, okay, okay, I know you really want to know what I would do too, so I'm just gonna keep with it. No, I think the edgiest thing I probably would say is I prefer the night. Oh. 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 Luna is not a better person. You need to sit down, Gabby. Thank you. For <laughs> oh, God. Okay, come on up. Hi! Who are you? I'm Fauna. Fauna, what's your question? Uh, so, for Marika, someone asked me since I'm dressed as Sonata, other than tacos, what is her favorite food? Oh. Okay, no judgment coming. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Lime sorbet with a sprinkling of coconut, um, like shaved coconut, wow. with a co uh, like a chocolate dipped strawberry on top. Must have an umbrella and a straw as well as a spoon to get the bottom parts of the melted stuff once it's all over. Wow. Are you wow. sure? Do you, you want it? I could think about that and it's give you more detail you answer. There you go. I also have tacos for Marika. Oh, well, why don't you come on up here for Kelly, for Kelly and Marika? Is that what you said? Stay right here, ladies. Can you? Uh, yeah. Whoa! Try again. Try again. Whoa! Thank you very much. Round of applause. You want to? What's your name? You trying to And what's your question? Uh, I have a question for Moreka Hendricks. Okay. Can you say your favorite line as Sonata does? Oh. It's Taco Tuesday! <laughs> Woo! You're welcome. Come on up, hi, what's your name? I'm uh, for Kenny. Hi, for Kenny. What's your question? Um, this is for any of your voice actors, and you can answer this too. Uh, how did you get into voice acting as a profession? Answer. I'm going to leave me out of it. Um, <laughs> Andrea, how did you get into it? I went for an audition in the newspaper for on camera role uh, oh. when I was six, and I didn't get the part, but I ended up getting an interview with an agent, and then I started doing on camera work, and then I started getting auditions for voiceover, 
and we did my first series, animated series, called Dino Babies when I was eight. Nice. Anna Sani, how about you jump in on this? How yeah. did you get your first gig? Uh, first gig, I went to a bunch of classes and I found my mentor, Ellie Ray. After that, I uh, got an agent, and my first gig was an Italian dub called Mia and Me, and I played Yuko. That was exciting. And she's never looked back. <laughs> <laughs> how, how about you, Jenna? Um, for, how did I get into voice work? Um, I started acting when I was five, and I got this series. It's called The Doodle Bops Rock and Roadshow. And I got one episode when I was 10, and it was half on camera, half voice work. And the voice director on that show, her name is Dee Shipley, and yeah. she saw something in me at like nine years old, and then she booked me on to my first series called Just In Time when I was 10. So that's kind of how that happened. Cool. Yeah. See, a lot, a long time. Law, not overnights at all. Lots of work and lots of effort. Yeah. Anyone else want to pitch in their Yeah, I can story? speak to not overnight if you want. Sure, let's do it. Um, I did sketch comedy around Vancouver for many years live, hoping to be discovered, which doesn't really happen, which I learned the hard way, even though I sort of knew it or didn't know it. Eventually I decided, okay, well, I'm going to get into real acting and film and television, but then I thought I was too ugly to be in film and television, so I put together a voice demo because the sketch comedy prepared me well for that. I got an agent who specialized in voice who immediately said, why don't you have headshots? You should be in film and TV. So I did that for 10 years and eventually booked a voiceover gig doing Need for Speed for Hot Pursuit. Oh! Wow. You know, and actors you really can't, voice actors can't do anything without beautiful pictures and lovely words, so I'd like to toss it to one of you. How did, you know, what, what, how did you get where you are right now? Uh, I was dropped on my head a lot when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> um, my, my dad did art a little bit, my grandparents did a little bit of art, it was always an option. And my dad was also really Machiavellian, he taught me how to read it too because he found out there was no reason a kid couldn't learn to read it to. So he would do like three phonics pages and stop, so I always wanted to. But as a result, I read comics really early and I got to use that as a reward system. So I had a lot of comics and they had a really well-behaved kid. So I've never wanted to do anything else. Love it, wow. Andy, do you want to pitch in? Um, art is not unlike acting, dancing, music. You have to keep at it and that's what we've done all of our lives. We've once you fall into a groove of something that you know you love, you can't help but keep repeating it. And the more you repeat it, the better you get. And that's that's how we've been, we've gotten to do what we do. Um, doesn't hurt to go to a school that uh, specializes. Tom and I both went to art school. We both went to the same art school. Um, Drop the name, where'd you go? Uh, the Kubert School. Uh, it is the only school of its kind that specializes in cartooning and illustration in Dover, New Jersey. Beautiful, sunny Dover, New Jersey. Um, Those words not in that order. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, and now I'm here and I have six cats and way too many comic books uh, and way too many Batman and Star Trek toys. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you for your question. Let's move along with the work people. Thanks so much. Who are you? Sunfire. I was wondering for a general is, what is your guys' <clears throat> favorite experience with a fan? Hey, uh, Kelly Sheridan, you want to kick it off? Favorite experience with a fan? I go, oh, gosh, there have been so many. I don't know if I can think of like one singular thing. The best thing is like hearing how people, you know, a character that you play inspires someone to live their life in a better way, a more fulfilling way. That's like a very general question. But also just signing really weird stuff, like signing stuffed salmons and cars and tattoos that, you know, things tattoos, that people are yeah, you know, going to tattoo on their bodies later. That's always like just marvelous. Incredible. No Signs of weird stuff. Me. No one's asked me for a signature. Well, maybe this is your weekend theater news. Maybe. Maybe, maybe ever free Northwest. My, my favorites have happened here um, singing You Are My Sunshine. And uh, and also going, look, a moose. <laughs> um, Vince. Uh, it actually happened here. I, I think I just met Chris again. He was a, 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 it was like a few years ago when we were, we were here and we were having dinner with him and his mom. And he was very, very shy. And um, I was like, you know, trying to boost his confidence. And we were at the dance afterwards. And it was a Mother's Day weekend, I believe. And I'm like, hey, you're not dancing. He's like, oh, I don't know 
know how to dance. I'm like, you don't know how to dance. Everyone knows how to dance. You just dance. So we caught him up and we started dancing and he was like getting a smile on his face. And then all these bronies came over and we're like, you're doing great. High fives everyone. He had a big smile on his face. And it was just so beautiful seeing like the welcoming uh, nature of, of this community. It just really exemplified the, the humanity that is the beauty, the beauty of this, this community. So that's one of them. million conventions, I'm going to make you pick one moment. Besides hanging out with me, that doesn't count. Because <laughs> we all know that would be a dream. It's, a, it's impossible. There's right, just one. too many amazing, every time, I was trying to explain last night, we were bowling, it was a lot of fun, but I was trying to explain how it's it's so amazing, but it is it is also quite draining because you want to be there for every single person that you meet, and you're always you're listening to everyone, you're trying to give back uh, to all those experiences, and it is, it is so amazing. So thank you all for being here and giving us that. It's thank amazing. you. Great question. Thank you very much. Hi, what's your name? Alex. Well, the voice act. There's a, in all the years of voice acting, what's the weirdest and craziest line you've ever said? Well, we kind of, kind of sort of covered we're going extreme, but I mean, does anybody want to chip in with anything that was a little uncomfortable? Of course, Vincent. Well, I did this movie called uh, Sausage Party. Yeah, we did. Uh, that was a little crazy. The audition process was nuts. <laughs> Speaking of nuts. Yes. I, um, <laughs> I did several characters on it, and one of them, I won't, you know, I was, I was like a juice box that yes, had, uh, he was kind of dying because there was a, a cut on this juice box somewhere, and uh, so Nick, Kroll's, <laughs> Nick Kroll's character was like, oh, I'm going to suck the juice out of you, and I got the juice sucked out of me. That was kind of <laughs> I think we should probably just leave that. There. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> the other Thank, you. Thank you for your question. Though. Hi. Hi. Who are you? I know who you are, but you tell everybody who you are. Okay. You can call me Josh Attacks. There's somebody who have that group. Um, so, the first thing I'm going to do is make a recommendation, and you should go get this if, if they're still open. The Fonte um, Cafe down there, they have a latte that's called the Desert Rose Latte. Ooh. Um, Does it have bourbon? <laughs> it could, it Yours could be hard. <laughs> exactly. Very, very, very much so. Let's do that. Uh, second thing. Well, first of all. Yes! Yes! Oh. Yeah, I'm glad you're here. Uh, everybody, oh. 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 oh, French. <laughs> Wait, what's happening? I can't see. I'm hugging a person, and I kept it really sweet, actually, for a oh. Yeah. Oh, and oh, the camera angle changed. Thank you. Yeah. So, oh. thing. I got a gift from Ryan. Oh. oh. Okay, okay. Okay, so one of the things I'm, I'm going to admit is she's a massive, massive fan of Prince. What? Of Prince. What? Oh my goodness. And so I was in the supermarket. I was in the supermarket today and I happened to come across. Shut up! <laughs> People Magazine did a whole retrospective of Prince. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you, darling. Yeah. You, you, good you. to see you. Yeah, I'll see you later. Come you on, later. Come on this way, dude. Come on up, everybody. I don't bite, remember, much. Sorry. Okay. Oh. Desert Rose don't Latte is going to be selling like hotcakes. Don't leave that one around. Desert Come on up. Walk on up. Hi. You look fabulous. You all look fabulous. You look fabulous. What's your name? My name is Emily. Hi, Emily. What's your question? Hi, Emily. Question for all the voice actors. Okay. What's your favorite My Little Pony character? Oh. Oh. Whoa, oh, that's, that's a loaded question. They all want to say mine. <laughs> but we talked about this beforehand, so let's see what else they come up with. Hey, Anna Sandy, why don't we throw that to you? Oh. You know what? Princess Celestia. Oh. Yeah, you know what? Princess Celestia. <laughs> I was going to say Princess Celestia. Yeah. I was also going to say Princess yeah. Celestia. I say me too. I say Luna. Oh. Oh. 
Kidney blow. There you go. I'm just too embarrassed to say snips and snails. Aww. You just did. Yeah. Oh, hi, what's your name? Hi, I'm Harry. Hey, what's your question? I'm Harry. As in the birthplace of uh, Starbucks, Seattle, what is your go-to coffee order and why is it not tea, which is far more popular? Whoa! I have, this, so I have the same opinion of tea as Ted Lasso does. So it's like watery coffee. Watery coffee. It's no point. So really? what's your favorite coffee order and why is it not tea? Uh, let's, I, I know you're going to get angry and I know you're going to put everybody, because you are, this is a tea drinker. Right oh. there. Kelly, coffee or tea? I don't drink coffee, I love tea. Okay, and favorite tea? Bengal spice. Yeah, do you do a little any any additions to it? No, no it's honey. Just perfect, just on its own. Just sweet. Oh, and sweet Bengal spice. <laughs> nice. And Vince, no, I'm not gonna ask you. No, no okay. but <laughs> my friend Button taught me about um, dirty chives. Dirty chives. It's like a chai latte with a shot of espresso in it, and it's. Oh, that sounds good. That sounds really good. It's dirty. Oh, well, that's why it sounds good. Jenna, coffee or tea? I'm a tea girl. Oh, oh, look at this. And what yeah. sort of tea do you like? Uh, either matcha or anything like floral hibiscus. Yeah. Wow, that's my vibe. Specific, I love. Mm -hmm. Marika, mm -hmm. you're like Green I like. Yeah, I like tea uh, with smooth milk. Actually, a little black tea, like in nice. breakfast or like nice. super strong. Nice. Peter, Nick? I grew up on uh, orange pico, red rose. <clears throat> um, but yeah. these days, I will drink a straight espresso any time of day. Coffee, 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 all the coffee, give me the coffee, all the time, give me the coffee, give it, like, now, coffee, yeah, yeah. coffee, coffee yeah. now. Anna, no, Sandy, are you a tea or a coffee person? I'm a coffee gal, mine changes with my mood, and right now I'm super into the chocolate cold brew that's happening at Starbucks. Mmm. That is so good. The chocolate cream cold brew. Oh, Ooh. Nice. What? Nice. Uh, yeah, Andrea, get on it. <laughs> I was at Starbucks today and they had this, like, these taps. Does it come from that tap? Oh, no. Those taps? Oh. That's cold brew. That's, that's cold brew, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 With some yeah, chocolate, with some chocolate, with 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 um, but I give coffee up for Lent so they don't get too addicted, and then I switch to tea, and usually it's an Irish breakfast. Wow. Again, I don't know why I haven't met you till today. Okay, Andy. Black coffee. Shocking. Or black Assam tea with honey in it. That's interesting. There you go, see? Thanks, Harry. All right, Harry, nice question. Hi. Harry, did you bring tea for everybody? Sit about. Harry, go sit down then. <laughs> Hi, who are you? Uh, you can call me Jeff. Okay, Jeff, what's your question? If you could create your own character that you've never voiced before, what would they sound like? I'm gonna go to two people who want to do this one. Anna Sandy, why don't you take it? Because you know I can't see the look in your face of terror, so we're gonna go to you first. <laughs> oh no, you can't see the terror. Okay, yeah, you're definitely there. Um, uh, like a, if I could, I would love to do like a deep, deep woman who's like a villain. I think you should try okay. it. I want to hear your villain laugh right now. Villain laugh right now, nice and deep and low. Okay, here we go. I'll try yeah, it. Yeah, oh gosh. You may pee your pants. Try it. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm not saying I do, but don't. <laughs>